Who's ready for a sweet treat? Today on Cooking with Coach M, I am going to surprise my kids with a key lime pie because I randomly have some just weird things in the pantry. Like, do you guys have a random can of condensed milk? I, I do. Don't know when I bought it. Don't know why I bought it. But I have it. Um, and I also have this really great lime juice that um, needs to be finished. So we're going to finish it. So let's make some key lime pie. This is all that we need to make a key lime pie. And we're using um, this famous Key West lime juice that says, um, oh, where does it say? Favorite uses. I like the bottom use. Cleanser. It kills germs and odors. So basically, we're making this pie because it's going to kill coronavirus germs. We're going to do it. And we're just using the recipe on the back of this thing, right? A graham cracker pie shell. Don't know why I have that either, but I got one in there. Um, can of sweetened condensed milk, three egg yolks, which is great because I only have the whites, so uh, the whites will not go to waste. And a half a cup of this juice, and we've got about a half a cup of it in there. So let's let's mix it up. Thanks, Nellie and Jen. So I'm adding the sweetened condensed milk to the lime juice. Now lime juice is not green. It's just kind of like yellowish, but it smells so good. Sweetened condensed milk is different than evaporated milk. Evaporated milk is the one that we normally use for pumpkin pie, which I'm sure we'll be making that one day because I've got some random evaporated milk in there too. This is the condensed milk. So see, it's like really like sticky and yummy and amazing. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to separate my eggs. I'm going to separate my eggs live on camera for you because that's a little, um, it's a little bit scarier when I do it live. Let's see if I can do it right. So when I separate my egg, I'm gonna crack it over here and I'm just gonna let the white squish out into my separate bowl, right? I'm just going back and forth, back and forth till all the white part comes out. And then I'm gonna plop that in there. I'm gonna do that two more times. Just doing it back and forth. Now what happens if the yolk accidentally gets in to my weight container? That's fine. If it falls like that, oh my, oh no, you just like go fishing and like find it. And then we'll just do that, right? But I just want the yolks, which is great because I can use the whites for something else. With my hands. Move these away, move this way, okay. Now this is just a hand mixer and this is like the most powerful mixer in the whole world. So on low, it's like, it, it's probably gonna splash everywhere. Oh gosh, please. Ah! I'm just mixing it. Look at you guys. Spinning it. Let's see, did Nellie and Joe specify anything? No, they just specified blend until smooth. Smooth, looking good. I've got my random um, graham cracker crust here. Happens to be gluten-free. Awesome. Good for that. We're just gonna get all this little thing off here and we're just gonna pour it into the middle of my thing. I can't wait, right? We've got this. We're just gonna pour it in. Oh my gosh. Nellie and Joe, you are the favorite part of my day. Now again, this is basically breakfast. So if you wanted to make this and have it for breakfast, I'm not gonna tell and I'm not gonna judge because now is not the time to judge anything, except if you're going outside. Stop leaving your house for non-essentials. Just make this pie and stay inside. So I'm just gonna do it a little like that to let bubbles come up to the top. I'm not gonna lick this 
That's just like egg yolks. That doesn't sound good to me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. And Nellie and Joe say I'm supposed to uh, bake it at 350 for 15 minutes. So let's bake it at 350 for 15 minutes. This, you can find this juice anywhere, but you can use that little green container of lime if you want to. But this one is, I mean, Nellie and Joe. Let's, let's support Nellie. So here's our finished pie. And I already got to taste it. It looks like Pac-Man. And it tastes delicious. Normally we would cover it with whipped cream, but as are the times, I do not have whipped cream in my house. So I'm eating it just like this. Have a great day and thanks for cooking with Coach M. See ya.